Good morning, this is Dan. We're going to take a quick moment to do a video on how to change the value of a pick list in Salesforce when a checkbox is changed using Process Builder. I've created my custom object. I have my Boolean and my list. My list has uh, just a couple of values in it. I'm going to go ahead and move over now to our workflow and approvals. And I'm going to come down to the process builder. I'm going to create a new process. And I'm going to do this anytime a record is changed. So the object we're going to be doing is for our custom object. And we want it to fire anytime a record is created or edited, not just created. And we are only going to fire this when the checkbox is changed. So we want to select from our list of fields. And we have my Boolean. We're going to choose the is changed operator. It is a Boolean. We're going to make sure that it is false or is true. Not false. That's the only condition we're going to check is that that one box changed. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to update a record. I'm going to select the record that started the process. And the field that we're going to update is my list with the formula value. What we want to look on is the Boolean. So if my Boolean which you could omit the equals true because my Boolean is a Boolean, but we're going to go ahead and leave this in here for right now. We're going to say that it equals value one, which is a value of my pick list. Otherwise, it's going to be value two anytime that pick list value is changed. So this will allow us to work with the status outside of the process and then only change if that value of the pick list is changed. Use this formula. Save. And I'm going to activate. Going back to my setup, I'm going to actually go to the My Custom Objects tab. We're going to demonstrate this working. So my default value is going to be my, or is going to be extra value. I'm going to say object. Save it. So I'm starting out with extra value because the my boolean has not changed. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I can change this around all day long. Value one, value two. Change it back to extra value. Not going to be a problem. Change the my boolean. I say save. It updates to value one. I can change this to extra value again. And because it's not changing the my boolean, it's going to leave it as it is. If I change to false, because I've changed my boolean, this should now be value 2. And there you have it. Using a process builder with a formula to update another field on the object. Thanks for watching.